Oh, is that an angel's chorus bringing you know us what? in I'm today? I'm not a singer. I can't sing to save my life. Yeah. I did a movie with, uh, I did five movies with John Here's Patch, Here comes David's was- IMDb again. <laughs> Jen Stone, come on. Okay, okay, what's the movie? What's the movie? I'm learning all about it your career. It's actually called uh, Route 30. And okay. And Dana Delaney was in it. And we were- I, Yeah, hold on, okay, and go. And we were, we were uh, at the very end, you know, like some movies are like, okay, we're shooting the scene, but now at the very end, we're gonna do like, this is where you guys sing this part of the song. Yeah, and you're like, kill and me. And then other people, and I said to John, I don't sing, I can't sing. Yeah. And he's like, okay, just, you know, do just do your best. Yeah, yeah. After we shot it, he's like, what was that? What are you doing? Are I you said, okay? I told you, you I okay? can't sing. That's and he was like, well, I didn't know it was that bad. You know? I mean, yeah. I can do a Well, because every like, actor's like, oh, no, I can't. I can't. And then, the, you know. Here's the thing. I sing pretend sing in French and, you know, make up songs for so my So you're life. shitty in multiple languages. But No, but she loves it. <laughs> She loves, you know. Because she loves you. Yeah, and yeah. Not everyone else loves you like that. Listen, I don't have the balls right now to do a pretend song. No, thing, it's even okay. After I've said Well, I, we'll I give it a, a few cocktails. <laughs> and, yeah, and make you do it. Oh my God, Can are I we going to do an episode where we get drunk one Ma- time? <laughs> I mean, if that's what the people want, to see Harper and Jerry drunk, <laughs> they need to assess their life Come choices. On, that would be funny. No, it could be. Um, what do you drink if you drink? I'm a Jack and Coke girl. Jack and Coke. I love, I, or an old fashioned. When okay. I'm being an adult and I'm not drinking trucker drinks, I like an old fashioned. Well, that would be uh, really funny, I think. No, we should. I'm not, I'm down for it. I was in Alcoholics Anonymous for 22 years. Maybe less for funny past, for you. Well, but the past eight years <laughs> I haven't. And to all the uh, uh, AA people, there's a part in the big book where it says, if you can drink responsibly, our hats are off to you. I have had a glass of wine or a beer yeah. or whatever here or there. It, listen, Listen, I love the program and I think everybody to their own, you know, experience. I, I loved all the stuff that I that, that happened in yeah. those in that in that program. The 12 steps <clears throat> really helped me in my life. And you can replace, I think, uh, alcohol with sex or shopping or gambling sure. or whatever. Sugar, and, you, know, yeah. you know, it is. Um, uh, gonna be fun when we get wasted, Jen. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Well, as long as you stop me, because I have a terrible habit of drunk drinking text- too much. No, no, Jesus, well, you no, can, of drunk texting. You so can as delete long your text you, that you can. Take I them did back not know now. this. Yeah, and I am very upset because do you know how many relationships that have been messed up or just me being a dumbass. And and being like, oh, this is a great text. I'm gonna fu- yeah. fuck it. I'm gonna reach out and like just bad, bad. The the movie, the interns. Yeah. Do you remember this? Did you see this? Is this the Vince with, Vaughn thing? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. One of their like, uh, you know, they're working at Google, and one of their apps was yeah. that that it it you have to do a math equation. When you're drunk, you like put this on yeah. and you have to do something really complicated so you won't drunk text. That's smart. You know, my friend, she does this thing where she goes, I just text myself. She goes, I text myself what I wanted to say to whoever. And I'm like, that's genius. Yeah, but if you're drunk, you're not you're not thinking. No, when I'm drunk, I think I'm the sexiest, smartest. That's why I shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, do you text yourself? No, I okay. text the other person that I meant got for it to go to. It, That's the problem. It. So as long as you stop me from doing that, <sighs> great. Can I tell you a funny Dana Delaney story and then we'll talk about our Dana episode Delaney, for the yes. day? So I did one of her cop shows that like got canned after like a season after Wizards. Was it was it she uh, Body was, of Proof? Yeah, she was a, a morgue a morgue person. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Morgue person, a forensic pathologist. Exactly. Or a medical examiner, if you will. Mm. Hmm, medical examiner. Um, but uh, so I played this like super religious girl who was like very innocent. And then it turns out I was like killing all my sisters. And she gave me something that for me and my weird twisted brain was such a compliment. She comes up to me and she goes, you play this kind of role a lot, right? Where like they don't think that it's you. And then they find out that you're killing everyone. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And she goes, I did too. And I was like, that's really nice. And then I went back to like crying and holding a gun so to my was, head. But she was uh, identifying with you. She was like, yeah, you know, she was like, she's thing. like, when I was your age, I did that all the time, too, where I was the unsuspecting like murderer or something or, I love or like that. the. Yeah, it was very sweet. It was a, a moment that I appreciate because she was the number one on the call sheet. Who she gives a shit the on the guest star? She's amazing. She was very sweet. Dana, if you're listening. Hi. <laughs> uh, I don't know why people who cast bad guys cast the bad guy. I mean, you know I he's know. the bad guy. I know. Oh, that's what's why his I, name that's, from drinking sideways. 
Uh, oh, Paul Giamatti. He's always the bad guy. I know, I you know. know. Well, he's such a good one. You look at like my big, like big fat liar or something. Like the like he's the best. Yeah, he's the best. Um, okay, so today our episode is You Can't Always Get What You Carpet. Yes, the magic is, carpet episode. What I is that, episode eight? No, I think it's so six. six. I can't count. It's a good thing I'm a nurse. I'm looking here. Episode six. Episode six, okay. You can't always get what you carpet. Which our our one, our one showrunner, Peter Murrieta, our EP, our executive producer, for if you will, um, is a huge Rolling Stones fan, has a, you know... Um, uh, a Keith Richards ring replica, like a huge Rolling Stones fan, which that's what this episode is kind of a spin off of. Yes, you can't yes. always get what you want. Exactly. Which is one of the best it's songs. It's a great freaking song. It's so good. I play it many times when I'm just I just got tired. I was thinking about the Rolling Stones you still take, playing. Can you take it out? And then. Oh, oh he's, got, he's gone to bed, guys. Disney. Oh. Um, <laughs> this. You were not in the episode, yeah. But this was the first episode that we shot. So for me, mm -hmm. this was the pilot. This was the first yeah. time I had worked with anybody. Yeah. And rewatching this episode, I understand why they didn't show it first. You What's know? your thought process of why they didn't show it first? Um, because we hadn't jailed yet. We hadn't yeah. gone. We hadn't, uh, you know, been. I don't know, gelled. That's the best way I can say it. Yeah. And it was, there's a, like we've talked about, a sitcom has a, a cadence and a tempo mm -hmm. to it. And this was a, a little more serious. And it was interesting because David and, and Selena were like being nice to each other. Well, and that's something that if we'd done that the first episode out of the gate, it wouldn't have worked because then it wouldn't have set up this whole like, Sister brother bickering dynamic. Right. And what you pointed out uh, uh, when we were talking about this in the past was it was nice that yeah. the the first couple of episodes, they are bickering and stuff. And then this is episode six, and they're actually having a nice moment together. Yeah. Listen, one of the biggest things about sitcoms is we're making fun. I'm going to make fun. I'm going to make fun. I'm going to yeah. be like the mean. A lot of sitcoms are mean. They're yeah. just mean. Yeah. And if you don't care about the characters in the beginning, if you don't have the audience caring about you a little bit, yeah. you can't do anything no. because you're just, you, you're the villain, you know? True. Very um, true. But so rewatching this, we we start off in uh, Selena's bedroom where you know she's daddy's little girl, and it's all about her manipulating me. Mm -hmm. and have you ever uh, manipulated your parents into getting something with the pouty face and the whatnot? I kind of. I, I was never like the daddy's little. I mean, my dad looks at me that way, but like um, I was never the daddy's little girl trying to manipulate dad kind of type. I did use the fact that I was a very responsible together teenager once, one time, um, during the show, actually. I oh, this is deep. Oh, God. It, so I went to, it was a friend of Greg's. Uh, it was a house Gre party. Greg, Greg Sulkin. Sulkin. Yeah, Greg Sulkin, who- um, Who played- Mason. 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 Was a oh, werewolf. I had a small Go aneurysm. On. It's fine. <laughs> it was a little bleed. Um, but uh, so, yeah, it was a friend of Greg's um, house in like the hills or some crap. And I had just moved from the house that I was renting to the, the condo that I have now. And so we were in transition of moving everything over. And I said to my, my mom, because I knew this house party was going to happen. And I still had the whole through Wizards, for the most part, I had a midnight curfew. I had to be home at midnight. And this was before like Uber and like all these like ride shares and stuff. So, um, so I would have to drive myself. And I, so you couldn't get wasted. So I couldn't get wasted. And uh, I remember I, I I told my parents that I was going to, oh, I'll just sleep over at the condo while they were sleeping over at the rented house. And knowing full well I was going to go to this house party and not come back at midnight. Because I was like, they're not going to come over to the house. Do. As kids do. This was my one like teenage fuck up. So I went to the house party. I like. Skin, I, I I went hog at this house party. I skinny dipped. I got wasted. Like it was not cute. I made out with some dude that I don't remember his name. But this is for, this is being a kid. Yeah, yeah. It's being. I was like sixteen at the time, seventeen, something like that. And um, who the hell? Who? Oh God, how, I don't know how old the other guy was, but ugh. um, <laughs> but that's terrifying. But anyway, so I get this. I I get out of the pool. And I, I look at my phone and there's all these missed calls and missed text messages. Oh, shit. And my mom goes, where are you? And I went, what are you talking? I'm like trying to pull my, oh, no, my voice to together. The condo. 
my voice like slurring shit, being like, "What are you talking about? I'm I'm I, I'm at the condo. I'm asleep. What are you? Hey, oh, I don't know why it turned into that. You sounded me. Yeah, I don't you know why. Turned into me when, you <laughs> when I drink, I turn into you. Um, no, I. And she said that, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I found out later that my mom said she's not picking up her phone. I don't know where he is, uh, and where she is. And my dad goes, "She's at a party." He called me on it immediately because he and I are very similar. Mm. He called me on it immediately. And my mom was like, how dare you not trust your daughter? She oh, works shit. so hard. Aww. I know. God bless her. She works so hard. And and my dad's like, just go over there. Go over there. It was like five minutes from the places were five right. minutes from. He's like, go over there. So she, of course, she goes over there. I'm not a fucking there. She tells me that later. I was grounded for months after that. I couldn't go it? anywhere. So you couldn't go. You did the television show in school. And yeah, stuff, sure. But and you then I went. Go out I couldn't go to. I couldn't go out to like stuff and and parties and things like that. Let me that, tell you something about being a parent. Yeah, it's really hard to punish your kid because then you in turn get punished. I'm going to take your phone away. I'm going to take your yeah. your driver's license away. But then we have to drive you. We have to figure out yeah, how yeah. to communicate. Well, with you, you know, and it was something like I I owned it. I was like, you know, I. I, I was like, I I fucked up. Like, it's fine. You know what I mean? I, I get so it. It's so funny. I love how you said it once it happened. I, I was a good kid. Way, I know. Even though I was like, I'm making out and drunk and skinny dipping. That's because I condensed it all into like evenings because I didn't have a lot of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's funny because most other kids, that happens all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's a thing. By the way, when I was young, we didn't have our trackers i'm holding up my phone everybody we didn't have these you know because we can the, the parents can find you sure. with the with the tracker and the stuff right. i was always like hey mom dad i'm sleeping over at my friend david rubom's house and then he would say that to to his parents yeah. and then we'd go camping and do drugs all night which you know <laughs> that sounds great um but they couldn't bust out. i mean unless of I know. course they called the the other parent or which if that was the case know. i would have been fine yeah um, but yeah, I had whatever dude that was drive my car very fast back to the condo well, where my parents were waiting up for me. It was not a great night. It's not cute. And I was like all wet because I had skinny dipped. It was not a great, it was not a good look. It was not a good look. So anyway, I've, I've abused my, the fact that I was a good responsible kid to try to like, yeah, you know. But I mean, that doesn't negate all No, that, you know? it doesn't although, mean I was a shithead. I but. think that you know, society really loves it when people fuck up. They don't yeah. look at all the wonderful things. They're like, ah, that one I know, well, especially these days. I'm so thankful that social media was just on the up and up. Because there was a few times that like paparazzi got me like coming out of a club drunk. I face yeah. planted on my makeup artist, oh, like no. white jacket. I didn't mean to be jacket. so happy about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they got you drunk? Where are the pictures? No, but the good news <laughs> is, is I was a clut sober too. So mm. if I fell down, it just looked like me. Yeah, operating in the paparazzi, universe it's just anybody that's, anybody that's what's crazy i'm so picture, happy you know? it was not the case because with wizards like i think in the first season selena has like a sidekick which i was never cool enough to have i only had a razor yes and for people who don't <laughs> know a sidekick is the old uh, uh not it's a, like a the phone. Flip phone you flipped it up and then you typed with your versus fingers like and... a flip phone which no one's reading any of this or yeah, hearing any of it i but... i um uh, uh, we, uh, Twitter started while we were doing yeah. Wizards, and yeah. I've said this to you that mm -hmm. I, I started an account because somebody was pretending yeah, you to did be tell me. me um, and uh, uh, in one of the episodes, Selena has the sidekick in the yeah. thing. Yeah, no, she has it all through the thing. first season. Because ah, okay. because I remember because I wanted one so bad because it's like a fidget spinner kind of yeah, thing because you, you flip it up, flip, flip it, it, up, down, exactly. flip it down. She would pl do that on set all the time. Yeah, my, my uh, oldest daughter had a, a sidekick. And, and you know, when, when I was younger, I had a pager. I felt so cool. I felt like a doctor. I They're like, pretty cool. A, oh, my pager's going off. I'll find a payphone. When pay I wasn't rewatching episodes for this, <laughs> I rewatched Gilmore Girls and like Rory had a pager. Okay. And I, I can't was like, what? believe, Jen Stone, that you just said that. Because I did this uh, pilot with, mm -hmm. with Lauren Graham a long time ago. Got to kiss her, yeah. by the way. Thank yeah. you very much. Ding. Um, but then I got replaced by Bill Burr. Uh, but um, I did an episode of Gilmore Girls because uh, my brother was TJ yeah, on Yeah, Yeah, he was. Your, I know so your brother was on the show. Nepotism. Like he needed a yeah. brother on the show. So I came on and I saw Lauren and she was sitting there on her phone talking to someone else, texting. I was like, that's so rude. <laughs> no joke. Like, now, now cut to you yeah, years later. Everybody, cut everybody. to everybody. But I was like, that's so weird. She's, she's sitting here with us 
not talking to us, but talking to someone else. How, how so, interesting, which yeah. now sets, you can see all the chairs like lined up at like Video Village or like whatever. Everybody's, Everybody's on, their, on their fucking phone, yeah. you know? Um, okay, so the episode, I remember, cause this was, I came in the next week. They didn't bring me in for school or anything this week. Oh, so you weren't there at all. I wasn't there the at film. all. And I remember coming in and I remember so viscerally seeing Selena's pink fuzzy walls. Hey. And going, oh my God, this cast has been together for so long now for this whole week. And now I got to play catch up. And like, I was so nervous about that. But to touch on what we were talking about way before, what I love about this episode is I feel like not only for you and Selena, for Jerry and Alex, but for um, Justin and Alex too, it's this great heartfelt moment that we hadn't yet had in the show. Well, he helps out. He teaches her. He does it a nice thing for her, yeah. you know, and there's a great line. Uh, uh, she says, why are you doing this? You know, and, and he's like, well, because if I do something nice for you, you, you do something nice for She's me. She's like, no. Nope. Well, no. And then she goes, uh, 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 don't brush your teeth tomorrow. And he goes, why? She oh. says, well, it's not toothpaste. <laughs> There, I've done something yeah. nice for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cute. Yeah, no, it's a very, to me, it was a very sweet, like, exposition episode as far as, like, the deeper relationships that weren't just surface, like, bickering. Yeah, it was a good, yeah. um, again, it was slower day. There, there, um, usually, it's every, I don't know, four or five seconds, there's a joke. Yeah. And, and there was a couple of scenes where there uh, wasn't a big joke. And yeah. there was moments that were that were touching, that were great. My dad always said to me, you have to uh, uh, get the audience to empathize with you a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Of and, course. And that, that helps a lot. Otherwise, and, why do they watch it, you know? If they don't relate or empathize yeah, well, or, mean, There's you know. a lot of shows that fucking people watch and the, the characters are just awful. Especially now, you look at the, the, those people are assholes. Well, it's a different, it's oh, a different world. Uh, 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 White Lotus. They're all terrible people. But it's people. a show about terrible people. Okay. You know what I mean? Like it's, 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 that one's more like a commentary on society. Right. You know? You just told me to go fuck myself. I did. Then. I did. <laughs> In a very polite way. How did you guys I film heard. the, because this was something, like I said, I wasn't on set for. What, so what, how did you guys film the flying carpet? Well, the carpet was a bunch of, like, it, I felt like boxes that we were lifted up. And if you watch the very end of the episode, mm -hmm. so on Disney Plus, she goes, uh, uh, green screen behind Selena. And she's like, hi, I'm Selena Gomez. Oh, yeah. yeah which and was like, weird because this, this was one. I, cause I never happened again. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Because this was one of those things with like the first episode where they were like, maybe we'll do behind the scenes for the tags. And, and then we've didn't. abandoned shit. We never did I that I remember again. is they uh, uh, showed the blooper of me and Selena on the carpet. Mm. And we're leaning left, lean right, ba bank left, go right. And we're <laughs> We're wearing the the flight, you know, the jackets. Oh the yeah, yeah, the, the jackets. The, the, As yeah. if if you fall for miles and miles, oh, up, like, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's gonna, gonna do happen. anything. Yeah, it yeah. It's funny. Um, or maybe for a water landing, but right, exactly. But um, the behind the scenes, you see us on the carpet, and we're like making, doing silly and stuff. But when you watch the show on on uh, Disney. Disney Plus. Channel. Oh, okay. They showed what what I uh, uh, did was we fell backwards we in like the tag around. in the tag we oh, fell backwards okay. and I uh, uh, I remember this vividly I threw myself under you were, Selena because I didn't want her to get injured. Oh, you were human we were, insurance. Yes, exactly. Okay, great. But they showed that and then on Disney Plus. They, they didn't show that. They okay. showed a different behind the scenes. Yeah, because that episode, I don't think I'd ever seen until watching it on Disney Plus. I, I don't think I'd ever seen it all the way through because I wasn't there, and and I would only see watch the episodes when we were filming. Right, right, in front of the I, live audience. Well, so. it, it, I'm I'm really uh, uh, fascinated that somebody went in and, and was like, took no. out. We don't want you know to Her show falling. that she fell. You know. Yeah. Or, or whatever, but because I remember in my head, maybe it was a like maybe it was a liability was, thing. She, it could be. What well, especially too? Oh my God! Considering that was the first episode, and she was like the star of her show. I and, saved her, her life, oh and I God. saved the show. Oh my lord! <laughs> but still, yeah, that would be a huge moment. Well, because I mean, if she got injured, you know, forget I mean, it. I'm, Everybody's I'm, out of a job. Yeah, exactly. You know? um, so rewatching it, it was interesting because. Again, I auditioned for the Amazing O'Malley's, and and I, uh, you know, for the and magic you were too shop cool for and the school, this. We remember. No, 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 no. But but, thanks, Jen. Mm, <laughs> Disney. <laughs> but what, what happened was this is not you know when you audition for something and then you shoot it. Yeah. Here's you you, you watch any yeah. show. You're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that that character has a monologue, and that's what they audition with. 
You know, Absolutely. You, you know that that's the thing. This, we didn't have that. But then, no, I didn't have any of that. But yeah. my my timing was more, wasn't Jerry Russo. It wasn't well, who I was yet. It was more kind of, you know, yeah. a, a, a a little bit more of a grown-up David DeLuise being Jerry Russo rather than, I'm going to be silly. Do you, you know? remember? Because I felt like that for all of us on the first season. I felt like all of us were finding our way and we were trying to figure out the difference between the character we'd auditioned with mm. and then the character in longevity, right? Because um, I feel like a lot of times as an actor, because mostly you audition, like your job is to audition essentially. So uh, for most actors, so a lot of times you get really good at creating that character to live in that three, five, 10 pages, right? And then it's dead because you don't get the part. But I think a lot of us were trying to reconcile, okay, this person that lived on those three, five, 10 pages, how do they live through four years? Right. You know what I mean? So I, I find that in the first season, there's a lot of kind of hiccups like that where we're all kind of trying to find that like continuity within right. the, those the, characters. The foundation of the character. Yeah, when, when did you feel like you found Jerry? Just now, <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Look, I'm wearing a Jerry Russo shirt. Are, by the oh, way, you are. It's like, what is this? Lime green or something? Yeah, no, because wasn't that in? That had to have been in a picture too. Is that in one of the pictures? Oh, no? I don't know, but I'll tell the you shirt, this. For some reason, the shirt is very familiar to me. Well, but with wardrobe, we couldn't wear all the same color. So clearly, I got fucked on all of the colors. <laughs> They're like, okay, uh, put him in salmon hot pink or whatever the uh, hell it excuse is. Excuse me, you got fucked on all the colors? Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you had very unique special outfits. I was wearing like outfits fish on my head. Like, I know, but that's fun. It is funny. I it is funny. Wearing, I loved know, it. Silly. I loved it. Yeah. I can't be mad. But as okay. far as here being like, I was dressed like an idiot. I'm like, uh, no, I'm sorry. I went, I went on that one. Yeah. The, the amount of times I talk to inanimate objects on a piece of clothing to, of myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which, so like I said, funny. made my job very easy. Yeah. Because it's very easy to laugh at someone who has, like, a baby, like, onesie on their Your outfits shirts. are amazing They're on great. the show. But anyway. Um, okay. So, do you remember... Because, like, this is kind of like the driver's ed of the wizard's world, right? To learn yeah. how to, like, do a flying carpet. Do yeah, you remember yeah. learning to drive? What was, your, like, your learning to drive? Oh, me? Yes. Oh, shit. My dad had a Mercedes. who grew up in the Palisades. And, and fancy, there were not fancy. a lot of... Oh, yeah, bougie. Uh, there were... You, you know who lived down the street? It was Michael Keaton. Really? Yeah. And oh. Ben... The best just Batman. sold the house, but Ben... Oh, <laughs> ben Affleck, the other oh, Batman. Oh, my God. You dropped something. Hold street. on. You dropped Stop something. It. Can you hear... He's selling his house now. I wanted to go back to Michael Keaton just for a second, and then I'll, I'll and then I'll go to Ben Affleck, driving. and then I'll go to Benifer. Hey, Benifer. <laughs> um, so Michael Keaton recently in an interview, I saw him say that he was trying to go and get the job. He would go to an yeah, audition yeah. and I get the job, really but then he it. was like, you know what? I already had the job. I yeah. have the job, so I'm going to work. Yeah, that's my that's. Work, Brian, Brian you know? Cranston said something similar and it's fantastic. I love that approach. If I had like, only known that 20 years ago. Right? I know. I'm like, hello. Why can't we have these kind of interviews this readily available before? But yeah, for auditions, you go yeah. like, that's your job. Exactly. Um, Michael Keaton's so funny. Um, uh, Mr. Mom and and uh, okay, I'm gonna Court. I'm going to throw you some no, Ritalin. Night Court. Um, um, was it? It, it? Yeah, no. Um, there's another Michael Keaton movie with the Fonz, with Henry Winkler. Uh, um, I can't believe I can't I, remember the I, name. You know what? Everybody just look it's it gonna up. It's going to come just out watch of every you, Michael like Keaton movie you've ever seen. Chart, because okay, that was so to me the action. You when just made. I was young, yeah, uh, uh, too young to reach the pedals, my dad would put me on his lap, and I would drive his car yeah. around the neighborhood. There were not a lot of cars. It was yeah, very yeah. suburban, sure. you know. So. We, you know, my dad really let us, we drive in a parking lot. So by the time you got to 15, you were used to. Done. 15 and a half. Oh my I God. was a good driver. Oh, I love Although, that. God damn it. I can't believe I'm going to tell this story. So I, in junior high school at mm -hmm. Paul Revere, um, I got busted because I had some pot and it was yeah. just a small amount of pot. Which is so crazy in California now. Oh, that it's illegal. That's, that's legal. illegal. It that's wasn't. Legal, well, yeah. I mean, I was a kid, but I. I You're like I was five. <laughs> no, I mean whatever. Me so oh, I'm sorry. Just now, I'm sorry. No, oh, I don't care. Sorry. I don't care. It's funny. Uh, well, it's funny. Yeah, well, he just pocked a, a hocked I'll a big this loogie. Way. Jen Stone, I'm so sorry. Uh, Jack Dawson style, right at my face. So. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, I got busted basically, yeah. and then the, Mr. Miller was. Do you the, please? Was the, do you have a mugshot somewhere? Mm -mm. Oh, I haven't been arrested. A no, but it was. I was. I was lucky. I was very lucky because the the not oh, the see, principal. See, I'm just thinking but, of like the epic like. 
mug shots of like when they were younger and like you could like put it in your house. That's uh, great. Well, I, you know what? We'll, we'll create Let's that. Let's go yeah. commit some crimes. No children. The, no. The, the guy who was, you know, getting people in trouble at my school called my dad, mm-hmm. didn't call the police, which was nice. Okay. Some kids got... You know, police called on that. It was just a small amount of pot. Was, they said, we're going to suspend your son. We're letting mm-hmm. you know this. Da, da, da. You got to come pick him up. And my dad was like, why are you giving him what he wants? He doesn't want to go to school. Like, you're giving him three days off? Yeah, perfect. He's like, why don't you make them clean the bathroom or something? Yeah, you make, know? Him, make him go to all AP classes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was- So, but, but, yeah. so my dad- uh, said, if you get caught again, you're mm-hmm. not going to drive to your 17. Oh, that's a good one. You're not going to be allowed. And guess what? Smart. I got caught again. And I did not drive until I was 17. Well, I took the bus good. everywhere. I'm glad he held to his word because a lot of parents will say that and then yeah. they won't like follow through. And that's a really hard thing about being yeah. a parent. Your parents saying to you, you have to be home by 12, means yeah. they have to enforce that. A parent who's yeah. like, well, you know, supposedly the cool yeah. parent. Well, it doesn't like, mean anything. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, it, to to give a child boundaries is hard for the parent. Yeah. And, you know, loving. Yeah. To, to be like the cool parent, be like, well, no, come see, home Yeah, see, my parents, want, my know? parents all through Wizards, my, my curfew was midnight. Yeah. Unless it was like the Emmys or like a special occasion. And they were there with me anyway. You know what I mean? Right. Which is nice. Which is nice. And uh, how many Emmys did this show win? It won two. Oh, how nice. It won two. And we have zero. Yeah, I know. But you know what? It still feels good that we were on the show. Of course. Producers get to keep the Emmys. We get to take a picture with it and pretend. Yeah. And then they're like, give it to me. (laughs) Um, As far as my, like, I, I remember in my dad's, like, burgundy suburban, I would drive in the high school I was supposed to go to if I didn't get Wizards. You never went there ever? No. Oh, wow. I, I haven't been to school school until from fifth grade to college. Wow. Like I was homeschooled all through that time. That's so Which crazy. is why I'm so socially inept. Yeah, but I, they, completely the opposite. You're not. I appreciate so, that. I mean. You should see or see. You should hear. I should see in your brain? You should hear what's going on in my brain. It's just constant social anxiety about being like, ah, do you say that? I don't know. Ah. Like it's just somebody screaming basically yeah, in there. No, I'll Eternal tell you. Screaming. I'm being honest with you. You do not. I appreciate as that. As far as I'm concerned, yeah. I do not see any social yeah. awkwardness. I have rendered. shit in the corner. You just don't know it yet. You haven't found it. What is that smell? <laughs> Back to the episode for a second. Yes. I want to tell you that there's a part here where on the set there was a a, a a dining table, a breakfast table, all the way back up toward, you know, next to where yeah. the staircase was. Yeah, yeah I know it's true. We shot a whole, you know, uh, scene there in this episode where we were, you know, we had to remove all the furniture and everything from the set so we could bring oh, the cameras Oh, that's right. Up. And there's a shot on Jake in here yeah. where, where you're looking from the staircase and there's a set piece that you never see ever yeah. that's behind him. And it's really interesting because it was almost like, you know, in a sitcom, in a sitcom, you 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 lay out the four cameras and everybody moves around. You don't usually drive into the yeah, set into the set. To shoot. Yeah, yeah. And it was just so interesting to me to to see that. And I I, I said to my wife, I was like, Oh my god, we we're, 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 we've never done that before, and I'm making notes about that. Yeah. And she's like, you should point out some different things other than just the fact the that you, you shot up on yeah. set. <laughs> But there's little things like that. Like, like no, it's true. When we went into but you don't the, realize that like we tried and it didn't work, so we never did it again. Clearly, I know? just hear Victor, uh, 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 who was the director, one of our directors who did a lot of episodes. Yeah, and, he did so many. Um, uh, he, he, I remember him saying, uh, we're not going to do that again. Because I remember, so hold on, I shoot. remember doing it once because I remember eating at that table. Again, my memory is uh, Okay, so once after at, at, at 109 episodes, you once only did two, it once. I only did it once. Yeah, so- So I, we know it was not something we did often. Yeah, but we would just eat in front of, uh, you know, we, we, they wouldn't write like eating scenes, yeah. you know? Although there was a, an episode where we did, I think it's breakfast, a uh, dinner for breakfast or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, there was a I thing I don't think that's the title, but something like that. R- but I'm just saying like we ate, dinner for breakfast and it was oh, like a oh, Russo yeah. thing. Oh, I thought you were seeing the episode. I was like, that's a terrible episode title. <laughs> <laughs> but there was something, and this is about Disney. There was something in the script that uh, was Big ZD. They were talking about yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah, Italian. yeah. And Disney was like, the executives were like, we don't know what that is. Nobody's going to know what that is. Because you're not Italian. Yeah, forgot about it. My dad coming from someone who's not also time. not Italian. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but that was so interesting to me to see this. And I was so dramatic. Like Selena's trying to be nice to me because yeah. she like lied or, you know, you know, Alex and Jerry are having this moment yeah. where I'm being a dick. You know, I'm being in this really episode? mean. Yes, in this episode, she's like, "Hey, I got you this, Dad, or I made oh, you pancake." Yeah, and I'm like, mad at her. "I'm not. Yeah, yeah I'm not hungry. I don't want this." But, but it was again more dramatic, I think, than than I had been later. What was, what was the moment you liked? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but what, seriously though, but what was the moment that you were? What was the moment? I have two questions. About okay, this, and they're kind of similar. But what was the moment that you? really loved in this episode? And what was the moment where you're like, you felt that you and Selena were really starting con to connect as Jerry and Alex? Well, there's a there's a, a a moment where she goes and hugs me. Yeah. And I'm like, what's happening here? Yeah. You know, and, and then I, I, I go and give her a hug too. And, uh, you know, a, as a dad of two daughters, if a, if your daughter comes and gives you a hug, yeah, you'd, it's, it's amazing, you yeah. know? So that was, that was a nice moment. Um, and at the very end, there was a couple of really nice moments where it was like, it was really sincere. You know, yeah. I think I got way more into, uh, you know, being silly, being Jerry Russo and being, you know, out there rather than being, this was, I was way more grounded in this episode. Yeah. I wrote loud teaching. There was a thing where I did, you know, <laughs> uh, uh we're very nerdy guys. We make little notes to remind ourselves. <laughs> well, when, I have it too. I have it too. Listen, there's a lot of there's episodes. a lot of thoughts and there's a lot of things and you know you kind of have to remind yourself what happens. So if you yeah. ever like you know sometimes we'll look down at our little notes and and so what what, what was loud teaching? I I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a that was a uh, there was a reference or something. Yeah. Oh, you know I know a few people that like when they're drunk they'll make like voice notes to themselves or they'll make like little notes and then they'll read it back and they're like what the hell was yeah, I Yeah, it's it's um, I do I, wasn't I am drunk I am watching. sober sometimes. I sound like a huge alcoholic in Something this that was interesting too about this is the first time I ever saw a gif. What is a gif by the way? G I F. A gif or a gif a is GIF. like a moving picture. Right, but why is it called that? It I don't know. Okay, I think I think it's the file type or something. Ah, the file type. That's my guess, but I don't know if that's true. Okay, because I always, you know, older people were like, it's a gift, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm okay, giving this to you. Definitely not that. But this was the you first time or I, or I like saw the... myself in a gif or however oh, you say Oh, loud it. teaching? No, no, no. Forget loud teaching. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what that is. Okay, okay. All right, so got hot. I'm, and for people who uh, can't see me, I'm he's sweating right dripping now. Dripping sweat, um, just ass that, sweat. Us on the magic carpet was mm -hmm. the first uh, uh, time I saw one of those things. Oh, you know, yeah. with me in it, which yeah. was funny. Uh, it is back to the special effects for a oh, second. Here we us go on the carpet is so. It's, silly. it's not great. It's not great. Um, it's something that I didn't do, but but when David takes Selena out to train her, yeah, so that yeah, she does a good job. Yeah, yeah. There's a stoplight where birds yeah, are flying. Yeah, and it like comes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was funny because it wasn't like birds and then like one last bird coming. It was which like is used the usual gag, and then another last yeah. bird. They did an extra little thing. No, they did. They did a good job of not doing like the traditional gag of like the one that's still like whatever. You know, I, they 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 kind of built on that. that I think traditional that gag. Peter Marietta had a big influence on making the show funny for adults as well. I agree. A lot of Which times, is one of my, I don't know about you, but I hear that for all the time of like, this is one of those shows I actually like watching with my kids. Right, and that exactly. meant a lot. Well, I would say that my joke is like, oh, we, my kids watch your show. We watched your show with my kids or, mm -hmm. my, you know, with the thing. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I would make a joke. And Same. Be, and then they would say, oh, no, we really liked it. Yeah. You know, it was funny. It's a, it's a, it's a family driven show. We were yeah. all a family and we were a, a, a unit and it changed in the fourth season. It did. When when, when Peter, Peter Marietta was not a, a, a part of the show anymore. Yeah. And and it became like, you know, your traditional sitcom is A storyline, B storyline, C storyline. But I think we were all connected and involved for yeah. the first three seasons. It was very it was very much an ensemble, ensemble which right. was nice. And then they went abandoned ship once Peter the, our glue basically right. left and, and then went back to the traditional model, which we'd never really followed. Right. So the fourth season for us, I know, didn't really feel like yeah. the show. I, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to. But Victor, <laughs> who would direct a lot yeah. and said to me uh, in the fourth season, he was like, you know what we should do? You know what would be funny? And I said, <laughs> yeah. last season? Yeah. No. And, and like we were all in agreement with you. And you don't want 
to sound like an asshole, you of know, course. but, and you want to make it the best that it can be. But it was different when Peter left. It was different. Well, Peter held, cause we had a lot of sitcom writers. We had writers from friends. We had writers from like other shows as well. So they weren't Disney writers. Right. And I think Peter fought for us to stay and our writers too fought for us to stay at that caliber yeah. rather than just going for the easy joke. Now I go ahead and make fun of me. When I say this, I directed a few episodes <gasps> And then Amazing. that that put me in the production meeting yeah. after the the run through. Yeah. Sorry, after the table uh, read. Table read. Mm -hmm. So table read, and then all the actors leave, and then all of the heads of the department, the wardrobe, props, special effects, all those people sit around the table and they just make fucking fun of the actors. Really? Yeah, and I was allowed to That's be in fantastic. there. That's fantastic. But I was like, oh god, I can't. Do you remember a joke they made about me? No, but I, I, I do. I mean, there was a couple of. Well, that's lame. About, it wasn't so much a joke as it was like, oh, God, he's a pain in the ass, or this is going <laughs> to happen. That's going to take four hours. Or, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. when they ask questions and stuff. And one of the things I didn't know was they pad the uh, guy, Distad, who was our second, yeah. would pad the, the schedule. Yeah, because one time I was like, oh my God, we're rehearsing now. Technically, you only really have, because our run-throughs would be around 2.30, which is really early. Mm -hmm. So you have to rehearse each scene, get it ready for the run-through. Yeah. Uh, and the table read would probably be at uh, 8, or you'd come in at 8, 8.30. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and each scene, you only had like, I don't know, 15 minutes at yeah. the most to rehearse it. So if I spent 20, 25 minutes Shoot in one shit. scene, we'd have to pick it up, yeah, yeah, you know? And one yeah. time I was like, oh no, we gotta go. And and Guy was like, oh, that's all right. I pad the episode. I no, pad the but schedule. that's him being... That's Smart. him being good at his job. Yeah. yeah, you know. I'm so concerned about spitting now. I'm no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I pointed it out because it was really funny. Uh, it was just like one errant. Oh my God. Like, so can we do slow motion of my, my spit? Please. And it just going right in my eye. Oh. It's like that scene from from uh, Twenty Eight Days Later. What, when the saliva? Goes no, yeah, and, it's like from like a oh, bird like, is like eating something. This is my brain, and it drips in 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 what's his nuts' eye. You know that actor, what's his nuts? Yeah, what's his nuts? <laughs> from Peaky Blinders? Is that no? He's the no, he, but he's he was, the lead guy in that, right? What is it? It is the guy from Peaky Blinders. Yeah. No, that guy. I'm talking about the guy who gets it in his eye. It's is he it's, the older guy. He's like, it's a, and it's an acting family. It's like the Scars Guards, but he's yeah, he's is an he older the one guy. From in Bruges. I don't yes. remember his name. Yes, yeah. that's him. Yeah. And they just did another movie. I if know. If you haven't seen In Bruges, everybody see it. Colin Farrell, not my favorite, yeah. but so funny in this movie. I need to. I need to see it. It's intense. It's a good one. The, <laughs> we've the, been uh, everywhere, man. The, the, this ep <laughs> this this podcast episode, we've literally crossed all of the topics. But it's um, yeah, it's really interesting. the 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 base of your character mm -hmm. is so important to have that because then you know where you're going to grow and where you're going to go. Sure. It's interesting. You said- I like grow, grow and where are you going to know? <laughs> <laughs> but but saying it took, or we, it, you know, in the first season, which is 22 episodes yeah. to find that, you know? Yeah. I mean, I had no idea that I Jerry Russo was gonna so think. cheap, you know, yeah. until it's written. You, you look sure. at it. Sure. Like, and you're oh. like, oh, and especially with comedies too. Okay, my dear, I love you, but I have, you have something. To I, have, do? I have things to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have I have a heart out, so we got to do some questions. Okay, okay, questions. I'm not going to use. Is the battery dead, or did no, you not press not. it? No, it's not. I'm nervous. It's so silly. It's so silly. <laughs> okay. If there was a Wizards reboot, how would you like to? Bring everyone back. Oh, Holy God. Shit. Oh, Holy shit, Jen uh, Stone. Let me just write the whole thing right no, now. On, it, the, on the spot. Jump in there. On the spot. Um, I write out of my ass. Um, <laughs> just Good morning. Literally, hey. Uh, literally just pulling this out. I feel like we would all come back because like the substation was closing. Mm. You know what I mean? That would be something that would bring us all back because it was something where like we had a lot of, you know, or or to keep, try fight to keep it open. I don't know. To right. me, the substation was such a place that I remember us all being like brought around and having so many moments in. Right. So like to me, if it were closing or if we were trying to fight it to keep it open, something like that. Yeah. 
it would be a great way to bring everybody back from wherever they are in the world, whatever they're doing. Because right, what happened? Uh, uh, Jake, Max. Yeah, Jake has it. But maybe yeah. he like sold it through the years or something. Or maybe like he's he's closing it because he's moving on to another part of yeah. his life. I don't know. To me, that would be a great way to bring so everybody So what is back. Harper doing? What, where is Harper Well, I know what coming? Harper's doing. What? Because Rachel Dratch played me in the future Harper episode. She's right. writing about all the Russos. She's writing like... Young I adult fiction. This. I yeah. don't remember this. So no, they you are were writing about the Russos. Yeah. So in the future Harper episode, which this can be like another timeline. Do you what or season something. that was in? I or? think it's season. I think it's season two. Okay. Um, towards the end. Um, but yeah, she's writing because the the Russos go into the future to basically get her to stop writing young adult fiction about all of their adventures. I can't wait to rewatch this. It's a fun one. It's, yeah. I remember geeking out hard that episode because I was such a huge SNL fan. Right. Um, so what, like having Rachel Dratch there, I was like, like, and, and having her watch me to mimic me. We'll talk about it more when we get to that okay, episode. Okay. But to me, that would be how I would bring everybody back. Nice, I like that. That's a really good idea. Thank you. We should tell. No uh, one is going to listen to me. That's not true. <laughs> um, okay. Um, was there a scene you found challenging to film? If so, what was it? <laughs> I can't say. Are you kidding? Yes, you can. Uh, you know, uh, okay, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> you can give your PC answer or you can give the real one. No, but there was, a, I think there was like a kissing scene. There was something, we, Maria and I were supposed <laughs> to kiss and we were we were friends, yeah. you know, and we're yeah, actors, that, yeah. so we could do that. But the, I was anticipating the, <laughs> the kiss, not, you know, and not in a good way because we were, we were you know, acting and we were doing comedy but on disney there was yeah. no there was it no always like, had to be like closed mouth they were very specific yeah, so it made so, kissing scenes even more awkward yeah so there was that was uh that was weird yeah it was like it, to me honestly kissing on disney was like like rigor mortis face planting into somebody and then being like did oh kiss, did you kiss zeke on the show did yeah you i had I, I i think i i think yeah i kissed i kissed dan in an episode me too yeah, who hasn't? <laughs> everybody wants everybody wants to kiss. I, and and uh, 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 I don't know one of the episodes that I just watched very recently. His character was a different. It was a different it was, name. Yeah, it was, it was like, like Zach Rubenstein or yes, something. Yes, yes, exactly. Something like that. Yeah, it's and then so he comes back as Zeke with yeah. uh, with well, no explanation. Changed. And I just want to say one more thing about this episode. When we would go from the uh, uh, kitchen to the layer, mm -hmm. we would open the freezer. Yeah. And and in the which first, we abandoned that right in, in the first couple of episodes there'd be boxes in there like it's a freezer you mm -hmm. know but then we we got away with that we turned yeah. you took that away and then you just go in and it would be the the uh, the layer, layer yeah you know, well I'm going to deep sea home oh deep sea swim home well, do you like that was a smooth that was smooth that was so smooth, smooth <laughs> criminal baby um yeah well you know I adore you look what I brought it's a Wizards of Waverly Place. Uh, you always bring treats. I, I do. love it. Look, I, I, Where, I, I didn't. The back for people who can't hear me. I'm holding they, up. Well, hopefully they can hear you. They can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the back of the chair. Yeah. You know. See, I, I never got one of these. But you know what? I had to steal all these because Disney. I stole plenty. Is so cheap. I so I was so focused on Harper's wardrobe that I forgot everything else. Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, fan yourself. Let's cool down. I love you. I love you too, honey. Crank that AC in your car. I'm hot. Goodbye now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Wizards of Waverly Pod. And if you want to watch clips from the pod, then go to Podco YouTube channel. The link is in the description. Oh, and if you want to join our Patreon, the link is in the description for that too. You get exclusive weekly bonus content. Exclusive. All right. See you next week.